Hi, I'm Jade. And I'm Amanda. And we're junior football umpires. Did you know that almost 50% of the fans that attend an AFL match each year are females? However, for girls and women, Australian football is more than a spectator sport. Playing, coaching, volunteering and umpiring are just some of the ways you can be involved in making the game happen. In fact, at the elite level, there has already been two female AFL goal umpires. We look forward to more girls taking up the challenge and enjoying the benefits that umpiring offers. So it goes another lonely day. Have you ever thought about umpiring as a way to participate in the game? Getting involved is probably easier and a lot more fun than you think. The AFL's Youth Leadership Umpiring Program, along with the Duke of Edinburgh Award, might just see you umpiring at an AFL match sooner than you thought possible. At Old, um, the umpiring program fits into the curriculum through the Duke of Edinburgh Award. Part of that award is to undertake a skill and the girls have been uh, involved in AFL umpiring for their school. Once we enrolled, Neville came to our school and taught us all the skills and theory to do with umpiring and I gained a knowledge of all the rules and I gained some confidence and then we got to the Auskick game and then went out to do our real game after some training at Moorabbin Saints and that was a lot of fun. Young girls bring to uh, the umpiring group something different, uh, new and fresh. And I think uh, they probably get a little bit more respect than, uh, than young boys. When she came home and told me she was going to be an umpire, yeah, that's what I, yeah, I was a bit very nervous at the start, yeah, because you think being to lots of footy games and that, you always hear the, the critics in the outer. Once the girls have completed the course, they've been really lucky enough to umpire an AFL Auskick game, which is at half time at the MCG, and they had a fantastic time. So there was a group of us at the MCG and we got to run onto the field with a bunch of little kids at half time and it was amazing. We knew that everyone was watching and it was just a really amazing experience. When you're out there getting them involved and stuff, you have a lot of fun as well. It's not really strict because everything's laid back. What they've actually got out of umpiring I think is a lot of confidence. Um, the decision making skills have really improved. I think the money side's helped too, I don't have to give them so much. <laughs> like there's quite a lot of positive feedback, you know, and there's sort of a lot of the people are surprised, you know, like the girls are actually doing it and how well they do the job. You sort of got treated a bit differently to the male umpires, like when you come off they just ignore the field male umpires and they just say, oh well done girls, you did a good job and stuff. Definitely noticed some changes with the girls, um, just developing life skills such as decision making, putting them on the spot and also confidence because they're in an unfamiliar situation and it just comes natural to them and they don't even really notice that they're actually learning these things as well as undertaking the course. I'd absolutely encourage them to continue with their umpiring. They both like to go as far as they can, one particularly has, has shown an interest she'd like to be the first day of woman AFL umpire so um, but yeah they both enjoyed it very very much. Well if I had a message to give to all the young girls out there anybody to become an umpire I'd just say get out and do it because it's really a lot of fun and it pays off. Once we got started we didn't realise we were doing anything special. For us it became natural to be out there although it was a bit scary to start with we all really enjoyed our involvement.